to get involved. Um, again, because the issue is not only um, something that I care about, but to me it is very personal. So recently, my father, who's only 61 years old, um, he'll be 62 this next August, he had to retire this past year because my mother, a year after I was sworn in, so about four years ago, got um, an early diagnosis of dementia. Her Alzheimer's now has progressed, and so my mom needs 24-7 care. And so in deciding what we were gonna do to make sure that my mom has the best quality of life, my dad had to make a hard decision, which was retire early, even though um, he is still a young, you know, fairly yeah. young. Oh yeah. And so what that meant that he would leave his job, he was making about $36,000, you know, annually, which was enough to support both my mom and dad with, had and had a little bit of health care that covered some of her prescription costs. Um, but again, was forced to make a hard decision. Today, he is being paid 20 hours a week. So he went from a full salary job to 20 hours a week at minimum wage. My parents are struggling and yes, they have five kids and they're very fortunate that all of us have a career, but they're still struggling. They're struggling with the increase in prescription costs. My father, ability to care for my mom um, is hard. It becomes very difficult um, because, you know, now you're a caretaker 24-7 um, for her. And you, many people argue, well, why should the government pay to care for a loved one? Well, my dad was forced to retire. Had my dad not been forced to retire, um, he could continue working. But had my dad not re gone to retirement and asked someone else to come and care for my mom, the cost would be astronomical. We couldn't afford it. My dad would be going bankrupt right now. So he had to make a tough decision. And that story is the story of thousands of people, not only here in Fresno County, but just like my parents in Tulare County, barely making ends meet. They're actually saving our state government millions of dollars because family members or you know someone close to them, a friend, is actually taking care of people that need it the most. And so for me, it was easy to stand up and say, I'm gonna stand with you because you deserve a raise. It is unjust for people to be working so hard. Taking care of some, a loved one um, that is sick is no easy task. I see it with my dad. It takes a toll on, on you, physically, emotionally, psychologically. And the job is a hard job. And these folks deserve to make a living wage. And they're not making a living wage. People are struggling to pay their rent, to pay their bills, and to provide for their families. They want the same opportunities that were afforded to previous generations, an opportunity to get to that middle class. And today, we're not providing that for them. So for me, it was an easy, easy decision. And we need more advocates because these families that are working so hard in our community deserve to be paid a living wage.